Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of February 27th through to March 6th of 2023. And I would also like to give a special thanks to all of you who have given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is gratefully appreciated. And your first card out is the Magician. Very nice. Just like magic, something coming into your life. Perhaps maybe you've uh, had a difficult challenge in the past and something is all of a sudden just going to change for you. Maybe you're going to will it in this week. Determination to move forward. And the Ace of Wands. So most definitely opportunities coming in this week for some of you. You know, this could be an opportunity in a new career as well. A creative project that you've managed to get off the ground that you've always wanted to do. And the Hermit. So... You know, looking over your terrain, taking that step back just this little bit, you know, looking over all that you've accomplished, what you've gone through this week, and where you want to go in the future. And the moon card. So most definitely, you know, suddenly something, something sudden has happened this week for you. You know, unexpected. Things started changing, You, but you've seen it. You didn't, you know, put blinders on and you didn't ignore it. You realize that perhaps some of you have even lost some sleep over this. You know, not getting enough sleep for yourself. Stressing about it a little bit, worry, oh, a little bit over worried this week, trying to overcome some obstacles that you're having. And the two of pentacles. There you are, you know, balancing things out, trying to make everything in your life you know, go the way you want it to and flow and be comfortable. Trying to get everybody to, you know, stay at peace. And the Queen of Pentacles. So your Earth signs. You know, maybe you're talking to somebody about some investments. Maybe you've got a mentor that you realize that maybe, you know, you want to follow what they already have in their life. You're maybe talking to them about it. You know, maybe their investments or perhaps the way they decided to do gardening. And the Knight of Pentacles. So there you go. Some sort of travel. Maybe they've invited you or you're inviting someone else to um, take a trip somewhere this week. You know, just take a walk in a park somewhere, that sort of thing. And it's going to really refresh and, and give you that, you know, vitality back. Maybe you've been sitting in the house for a long time. And you just need to get out and have some air. And you haven't done it for a while for yourself. And the Three of Swords. So some sort of betrayal. Somebody's let you down. You've trusted somebody. Now this could be in your your past too. Maybe, you know, there's been some infidelity going on and it could be on both sides. It doesn't have to be, you know, or somebody said something that it's really hurt you. It's left a, you know, um, quite the scar on your heart. You know, that's nothing worse than feeling trust with somebody and, and they uh, betray you. And the Eight of Swords. So there you are, trying to make some really big decisions this time. You're feeling like you're almost trapped, being held in, not sure which way you want to go. So you're not really trying to make any hasty decisions, not trying to, you know, cut yourself free. You're just almost frozen in time right now with your decisions, trying to make the right ones for yourself moving forward. And the Ace of Cups. Well, there you go. Things are starting to flow and go in your direction. You're learning to think a little bit more positive about yourself this week. Maybe you've been a little bit hard on yourself. 
with what's been going on, you know, judging yourself and, and just overall being not kind to yourself. And the nine of pentacles. So there you go. You're very comfortable. You know how to take care of yourself. You can stand on your own two feet. You don't really need anything from anybody. But it's always nice to have, you know, somebody around. Now, whether that's a friend or in a relationship. But this week, you're just taking a step back. You're, you're looking at what you want to do, where you want to go. You feel comfortable within your own skin. And the page of pentacles. So that's nice. You know, opportunities. There's lots of opportunities out there. It's never, it's never ending because we don't end. And you don't end. So you, there's always an opportunity in something. And the king of swords. So clarity. You know, you have some really good ideas of what you want to do. And if there's a problem going on this week, you're going to attack it head on. You're not going to be shy about it. You know, you're okay with it. You want to get credit for what you've done in your life. And you want people res to, to respect you as you do for them. So you're okay with that. You're just sort of taking that time out. You know that you're more than capable of standing on your own two feet. You know, you have enough of everything that you need. You're feeling more confident within yourself. You're not, you know, you're not going to let this heartache hold you back anymore. You've decided that this is the week. That enough of the pity party. You know, you're going to take the swords out. You're going to stand your ground. If you feel that you need to tell somebody that, you know, what was done to you or what you did to somebody else, you're going to own it. You're going to deal with it and you're going to tell them. You're not going to allow to for this emotion to carry on any longer in your life. So that's probably what's holding you back with the swords. You're just trying to figure out how you want to say it, how you want to do it. You know, you don't want to um, leave any gaps. You're trying to make sure that when you make this decision and you say these words that they're final. You know, you're not going to just keep sitting there wondering if you're doing the right thing. You know, it's better to accept what you have to do and move forward with it and no longer live in that fear of, oh, am I okay? Am I going to be okay? Can I do this without somebody in my life? That sort of thing. But this is the week that you found your self-determination to move forward. And you're okay with that. So that's beautiful to see for you, by the way. And you're very independent. You have enough. You're stressing, you know, over different things in your life. And you don't need to. You need what you need to do for yourself to have your own freedom and peace of mind is set yourself free. You know, and, and that's what you're going to do this week. You're going to move forward. You're self-independent. You're okay with being on your loan. You know, you're not afraid to be alone. There's a lot of people out there that are, but you're not one. You're okay with the decisions that you're making this week. And it's like magic. You, everything just seems to be flowing all the way around you. It's just coming into you naturally this week. You're having more creative ideas. You're very focused on different things that you want to complete. You know, whether that's in your job or your life or, you know, sometimes it's even just cleaning the house. You just, whatever it is that you're focusing on this week, you're going to home in on it and nobody's going to, you know, pull you off that path. You've already decided what you want to have. You've realized what your goals are and you're moving forward with it. Which is really lovely to see. You know, nobody wants to be held in a position of wonder. And this is not the week for you. You've already made your decisions. You know, and things are being offered to you. New jobs, new places to move. You know, all kinds of inspiration around yourself. You know, you're okay with that. You have more energy. You're more creative this week and you're just 
moving forward, which is lovely. All right, I'm going to pick and shuffle you an angel oracle card. But yeah, no, you're you're on the right path this week. You're making your decisions. You're not so hard on yourself. You're realizing what your self-worth is, which is gorgeous. All right. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Aww. All right, Aquarius. On that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.